Hello, welcome to today's lesson on 3D drawing for your model railway. Uh, I've been asked a question about how I can how you can copy from one design from one file across into a different file. Uh, maybe you've got, in this case, I've drawn a buffer here, and then I need to import it into this folder to add it to the model on this one. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Um, one way will maintain your design history, so you can go back and make changes. The other way completely wipes it out so you would then not be able to um, go back and make those changes afterwards. It's up to you which version you use, uh, depending on whereabouts you are on your model now. Let's run through them both. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do is just directly copying this body. So if we come over to the side here, right click, copy, we can then come into the flat wall folder. Now, if you go over to the bodies, you can't then paste it. There's no, no function to paste. So what you'd have to do is come up to the top here and then do not capture design history. That completely wipes out all of your design history up until that point. Once it's then pro processed, you can come down to your bodies, paste, and then you can move your object around wherever you require it to be. Um, once you've got it in the position you want, let's say, I'm going to put it on the side here just for argument's sake. Okay, and click on OK. Um, you can then you can you know, merge the two together, but once you go back to capture design history, as you can see, everything's gone, and you can't go back in your design history at all. There's no changes you can then make to your original body. So if you were going to do it this way, I would only ever do this either right at the very beginning or right at the very end when you are 100% happy that everything is perfect and is working as it should do. Okay, and if we undo all of this, what we've just done, and we'll go back to capturing design history. Okay, so we've got it there now. We'll come back to the original folder. Okay, so if we look at the other way of doing it, so the first thing we need to do is turn this body into a component so that we're going to bring across all the sketches and design history with it. So if we right click on the body, and then create components from body, it then turns it into a component. You can then right click on there, copy, and then you can then come across into a folder, come up to the top, right click, paste new, and that imports the component. You can then move it around to you've got it in the position where you need it. So if we rotate this 90 degrees, let's line this up on the top here so that it in the right place. See they're slightly overlapping, that's fine. Obviously if you were doing this review you probably want to do this and move it around to uh, use the point-to-point uh, -point method. But I'm just doing this quickly just to show you how to import this in. Okay, so that's where we want it now. Click on OK. And you can see down the design history it's imported the component as a base feature. We've now got it where we want it to be. If we have a look, we've got two bodies here. And let's say we wanted to print these all as one. You just come up to combine, do capture position, and then the target body being the original body, tool body being the one you want to combine it with, click on OK. They then all become one body, so you can print that off as one if you wanted to. Okay, so that's the two versions of importing files, well, importing. Uh, drawings or designs between two folders. I would personally use this second one where you combine in uh, as a component, component rather than a body uh, because you are going to bring across the design history um, and, and it's going to give you a neater, neater way of doing things. So I hope that that will help with the question that I was asked. If you do get anyone else gets any more questions please feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to create these short videos or answer questions. Please make sure you press the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.